said that you forgot your cell phone, and I said, hey, I'll go back and get it, you know, wanting to be accommodating, and you didn't like that. I'm not going to sit here and wait for your response to... We, we could be up to five. Um, We're waiting for people. Are you guys going to all be eating? Yeah. And how long till the others get here? I can't see you know. until the party's complete. Because two people can't have the space? Sorry? Two people can't I just, have the I'm space. I'm not allowed to see the complete party. Well, what happens if we're just two? What if we're just two? Uh, then I'm going to have to switch table. Um, where's, where is there a table outside? Because we need people to see us. <laughs> Wait a second, there's a fire exit going by. So, so how many imposters do you have? But I can order. So how many imposters? No, how many I don't know how many imposters. Well, they're, they're just showing up today. Yeah, because I said, you know, it'll be Dutch treat if you come here to Pete's because you've got this great uh, brunch menu here. Of course, I'm probably going to have a Pete's. And uh, they said, oh, but we wanted to take you out. So I want it to be available, and we could fit, you know, maybe six or seven people here at the most. But they're going to move us over there because there's only two of us so far. So maybe your imposters are outside. Maybe they're outside. We don't know. We're not rushing off to go God knows where. Where were we rushing to go to the M and M thing? <laughs> we're rushing to go meditate. No, no, no. Rushing to go. We were going rushing to go interview Jim Fetcher. Oh right, here. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the last dinner. Oh, you mean that at the hummus place? That was kind of annoying. So what was your question? About anal sex. I'm not, I told you I'm not going on the record until the second book. Really? I just, it's too, um, the potential to be exploited. Uh, I'll keep it. I'm not, I'm not going to keep it. I see how the top secret thing goes. It's, it's, so, Victor. You know, now that you've been exposed to all this secret information, don't don't touch me. Just remember that. Um, anyway, uh, how do you think you can uh, bring this out to the public without endangering the inventors that have created this kind of machines or, or new technology? But at the same time, bringing to the viewer something useful. Well, that's a new level of stealth, isn't it? <laughs> all I can say is that. Uh, we have to, we may have to forego bringing these new technologies and new methods to light uh, in place of protecting the lives of the people who invented them. So what you're saying is that they just had to sacrifice their lives for the greater good? No, no, no it's just the opposite. we got to protect them. So if it means not bringing this new technology to light, then I'd rather, you know, save the inventor rather than to, you know, my, 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 um, my preference would be the inventor's life over the existence of the invention. But I mean, does it really have to be an either or situation? These days, yes. You know, when I, when I just look, <laughs> you know, just look at some of the names of people who have died under mysterious circumstances recently because they were um, attempting to Me and liberate us from this nightmare that we find ourselves in. But what about a limited hangout? We just do that for a while. I mean, couldn't Rabbit Hole Central get strong enough at a certain point? Go on Howard Stern, maybe you do it as comedy, but underneath it, you're building up a momentum of, of, sure. of real scholars. There's, there's, and there's, 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 ways, there's ways to everything. But yeah. these days, you kind of have to be real careful. So, as the executive producer looking for sponsorship, what are you looking for? Well, we're living in this um, economic black hole right now, and um, so any and all assistance that uh, you nice people out there would 
like to render would be most appreciated. But what about sponsors, people with the product? That they have, well, they have I mean, here, like the well, Tesla Motors, people aren't well, bringing the, things the, out. The, you know, we have a global audience that grows by leaps and bounds. Paul and Gloria is seen everywhere the internet is seen. So, and then you call more people team. log in every day to Paul and Gloria. Uh, on Rabbit Hole Central TV and also PaulGloria.com and also on uh, Sirius uh, Satellite Radio uh, Channel Howard 101. So the word will get out. Bring your products. We have a great platform on which to launch them. Thanks. So, Alan, what do you think? Okay, I gotta go. Oh, Next question. We'll miss you. How do we? How do we get? I'm too weak. I gotta go. If we if we've got really okay, good guys. products, have a nice day. Thanks, Victor. It was great. I'll take uh, Victor's position. So, Alan, what do you think about what we were bringing up with with Victor? You know, we, I we've got the question. we've got great products. You know, we we know the solutions. We found the inventors. We know scholars. Well, we're finding them. Yeah. But, but but the feeling is they're very hesitant to come out. Mm -hmm. So, how do you see sponsorship for Rabbit Hole Central? Well, I don't think the two necessarily have to do, I mean, they're two separate questions. These inventors with great products and sponsorship for Rabbit Hole They don't Center. actually have great products yet. In order no, they to, do. In order to get the potential. products, you need... What does Molly say? <laughs> the question is that, uh, oh, I can't remember, what did I ask, Victor? It, if an, an inventor has a product and they're afraid of uh, the repercussions about publicizing it, what do you do? Because of bullies. Well, shut them down. What do you do? Yeah, well, turn around, Alan. That's your maybe it wasn't the government shutting The question down. is, so give me the question. If, separate if, from sponsorship from yeah, Rabbit Hole Center. Let, let's, okay, let's deal with the issue of uh, the guy we were talking to today. Yes. He's got some new technology yes. that he's afraid to go public with. What do you do? Well, there's two ways of handling that. You get enough uh, support behind him so people can shut him down. Or you do a grassroots movement where it reaches enough people that too many people are being helped for someone to come in and shut this down. I think there's two, two ways of working it, you know. The, the quality or the quantity, the money or the widespread support. Can you hold it on me? Okay, what, what my experience is there's a lot of charlatans that come in, and these charlatans that come in really confuse the issues. So you, you, you're putting something out, you say Tesla technology, and people rig up some machine, but it's not the real machine, and people who are thinking that they're getting that art and they're dying. So that's a big responsibility. But that, that, that's, totally, that's, that's totally separate because we've actually found people who have the real technology. So why but even we're bring not that... Gonna, because we're not putting it out. If you don't put it out with exactly the inventor, that's what Wait, if you don't put what? Say that, it. You have I to am look at it. it. Okay. My, 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 my experience is that if the actual inventor doesn't come out and stand up for the technology and the details, even if the masses don't understand that, other people who are technically competent, doctors or technicians, technical people that could, could duplicate these machines, they don't have the specs there because the actual inventor is too afraid because he's heard other stories or he's been through traumatic times. So, so what's your we, question? So we as alternative media people, we say, yes, we're going to get you an audience, and they run. That's the, that, because so they're what's frightened. what's your question? How do we pull it off? How do you do the gr grassroots without having charlatans coming in? Let's forget the charlatans. Let's focus on what works, okay? The real technology that works and start to build grassroots support through showing the benefits of that technology. So we document the benefits that no one can argue with, sort of like the guy with the healing stone, right? He has right. documented benefits. He, now they can't touch him. He's, uh, no, no, they that, can't, that's they not can't, they, that's not why that's they can't, not why they touch, can't him. touch him. Okay. They, they can't touch him because he's an uh, Indian okay, medicine you, Alan, man, and, and he's, and in this, as, a, as an Indian medicine man, feathers, stones, and plants, if it, if it falls in any of those three categories, then the government can't touch them. And if they do touch them, a lot of people will be angry. They'll have the whole Indian you nation. You need somebody to really work well, this. I'm saying... 
Well, maybe we need to get the NIH involved, the National Health Institute. There's a guy that's meeting Nancy Burson today around 5 o'clock. I think we should go and meet him. He's, uh, he has another, he has a foundation that supports this kind of stuff. There's foundations out there looking for this technology. I, I'm just so nervous about foundations that will, that are... You're a foundation. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for foundations that will actually help. They actually put something on the line and they understand, they can empathize and they have compassion for the difficulty of the situation. Because there's a lot that I think they could have some serious money behind them, but the money is actually to collect up the technology and to bury it. And well, that's why... Paul, are you being a little paranoid? I've been through it. I've been through it. You've been through what? I put $100,000 into MMDS wireless cable, yeah. and that was auctioned out to the public. Somebody explained how this would be beneficial to the public, and it died. They just pigeonholed it. And that's how DirecTV came out, and that's why a lot of people... You know, in uh, rural America, never got cable service because of that. You see what I'm saying? I, so I've had experience. I know that technologies yeah, are very. You're talking about about you know, you're talking about maybe you know a uh, percentage of bad apples for the one good apple in there. There's a good apple in there, and we're going to find it and and share that with people. Any comments? I mean, who cares about all the bad things? That negative. Things, there's one good thing that we can get behind. Well, I mean, I, I agree with both sides in that I think that it's it's negative, yeah. and that it's too disempowering to focus on the negative. But but this is what we're trying to do is to try to figure out a way to counteract the forces that seem to not allow this technology to be uh, taken seriously. Yeah, thank you so much. Just a second, Alan. You studied traditional Chinese medicine, right, mm -hmm. for three years. Can mm -hmm. you talk about your qualifications? I'm a licensed acupuncturist in the state of New Mexico. I'm licensed in the state of New York. I studied acupuncture for four years, herbology, Reiki. Uh, no, no, but, but with acupuncture, uh, yeah. a lot of doctors just take a few weekend courses, and then they say... No, this was a four-year program. I mean, you need that. You yeah, it, was, it was a master's everything. degree in oriental medicine. Right. So I know snake oil when I see it. <laughs> snake oil is not part of Chinese, um, but there's a lot of um, but how weird... But antler juice or Like bat dung you is know? a really... It's a, it's a remedy. I think about what it's good for. What's it good for? I think it's yin essence, nourishing... But, but what about oh, the law I, of signatures? You know, something the law of signatures, well, absolutely. If something you know looks like a kidney bean, <laughs> it's good for the kidney. No. And Why? something, if it, and like a, an antler, you know, oh, an what? antler horn is good for erections. Is that it what, is. is that no, it? <laughs> that's that's ah. it is because. Why is something what shaped the way it is? It's shaped the way it is because it holds an essence. Those essences are related. So a kidney bean really is good for the kidneys. It so, really is. So, so, so now we're back to Yantra. That's why it's so valuable. Right, and rhinoceros horns really are good for your... They really are. Libido? Very good for erections. Yeah. But you know, speaking of libido, that, that guy's stuff really did work at the field last Which night. Which guy's stuff? The, what, what do you call that pack? The dust? Oh, the mud pack. The, the radiation mud explain, pack. Explain what that is, Alan. This guy says that low-level radiation, not all radiation... What are you shooting my meal for? Is this just, want to shoot just, it? Just, just, you want to show what? Oh, low-level radiation as opposed to high-level radiation is actually beneficial for the body because it stimulates the immune system. Right. Yes, high-level radiation is very, very dangerous, but low-level, very low levels the body can deal with and actually benefit from, according to this guy, right. Nighthawk Mineral. And according so. to Scientific American in 1910, it was interesting, they showed all those spas yeah. and things. Although so. Dad says that Scientific American is not so scientific. Oh, really? He he was was it was a pretty well-written article, though. I, the all pictures, I, I mean, why would people make all I'm, I'm just saying that he says that Scientific American is not as scientific as he would like it. Can you hold Okay. When when we were down in West Virginia in that uh, spa that Berkeley George Springs. Washington, Berkeley Springs, where George Washington went to, according to this 1910 Scientific American article, it said that a lot of the healing effects of springs is actually the radiation in the area. Did you did you catch that? I, no, he was. They they were saying that um, 
the healing effects of some of the waters are minimized when the waters are actually taken away from the springs. And that was because the uh, radioactivity of it would diminish. But, but actually, uh, what, you know, probably there are some springs where the minerals in the water are, it's actually the, are the intrinsic the value yeah. of the water. It's not the radioactivity of it. So, I mean... Did you catch that, Alan, that sometimes the springs that we visited, it might have been the radioactivity in the area that was so healing? I think that's true. I think that's why things like Lourdes, even, people aren't benefited so much when the water is taken away, but they have to be bathed. <laughs> Show what you're doing. Come on. Show the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm washing my hands, Indian no, no, style. No, 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 no. Come, come back here, because because no, because in India we had to do that because the water. <laughs> no, uh, come back here. Come give me the camera, Paul. <laughs> okay. No, give it. Show it. Show, show, show you. Back in the old, good old days when they used to have finger bowls provided after every meal. You know, you yeah. could be nice about it. Now you have to use it. You have to be kind. Why were you? Why were you? Show the Groucho Marx thing. Give Here's me that. This is an outrage. If I were you, I wouldn't pay it. <laughs> can I have your potatoes, Ellen? You can have it. You pay for it. <laughs> have now, here's a bent fork that Alan bent. Here you go. What is mine? I call that thing protein It wasn't protein much as my mind. <laughs> Here's how alternative media survives. Now, now, now I'm going to know all of his secrets. Okay, you know them all anyway, Mom. Why didn't you eat your white? Because I don't eat the white. I just... I'm a I know what's so funny. His mother doesn't eat the other one. The yolks. And My mother doesn't eat the yolks? Yeah, when we were down at her place, though, she was doing the opposite. <laughs> That's why well, I guess we get along so well. Anyway. I don't think your mother and you get along. Do you? Does everyone have to know that? <laughs> Does everyone on YouTube have to know that? <laughs> I just wanted to say this is the meal, the, the Pete special. You get one steak. And no, but this is three Alan's eggs for version. Seven ninety nine. You know, you could live, get all your protein needs for one week. So Thank you don't you, want to ride up to shoot with us? We should go soon. Oh, finally, what about snake oil? What? what about Molly? What about what? Help Alan. What about what? Snake oil. Well, I think originally snake oil was something healing and beneficial. Uh, Jeremy Narby tells a story how we went to this medicine woman and uh, she put some snake venom in some water and he drank it, you know, because it was diluted. And it completely sent an incredible charge through his body. Really? So snake oil, if you can find it, is probably very healing. Can you talk about the book that you wrote? It's in fourth publication. Oh, fourth Careers Medicine? in Alternative Medicine? Yeah. That's a whole nother thing. It was just saying, just so people can, you know, uh, know Careers in Alternative Medicine by Alan Steinfeld, published by Rosen Publishing, is an overview of all the different alternative practices that someone can choose to pursue as a um, career professional, as a if they go, and now if they go to your website, they you go to my website. They cannot find it there. But if you look on, they, you, we have to change that. If you look on Amazon, you can find it. Yeah. Okay, but go to new, newrealities.com and we, that book will be posted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm worried, Alan. What are you worried about? Oh no, Alan's gonna have to pay. Oh, I've got another. I've got Sounds like the book all over again, isn't well, it? It was. This is the book. But actually, this isn't in the book. This should be in the I book. I forgot. To put you didn't put that in the book? I, uh, you being topless I, and me not noticing because yeah, I'm so yeah. obsessed with Alan. Stop. I, 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 I know I have to put an impulse, but it's, it's, I can't even it's remember funny. where it happened. I thought it was Just in. put it right at the beginning of Harbin. Right. Well, because it, that's not where it belongs because you guys didn't show. I, when I showed up at Harbin, you guys weren't there. Oh, yeah, why weren't we there again? I don't know. You, you. Uh, we had a workshop or something, right? You, something you, you. I think you had to maybe choose between the five day and the ten day because you, from maybe financial issues or I don't know. I don't know. No, I think we were coming up from another workshop. No. But we also thought it would be a test for you to be there on your own. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. Didn't we? Nine Eleven Shaman wants to make a bunch of action figures for all of us, and yours is going to have the ability to take off the shoes. He goes, put your shoes on, Alan, when you did the interview Alex, with, put your shoes on with, your uh, with, on with Carl but Pearson. I didn't want to put my shoes on your thing. Yeah, How about I just hold it like this? Is that not, okay? Oh, just hold it like this. <laughs> I was talking to Carl Pearson. <laughs> That's because he's my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there with no... On the I lost set. my jacket in that so deal. It nice and professional, and then there's like no shoes. That's well, what I he loves about public access. When, when was this? 
they oh, talked to Carl. We had this great opportunity with Carl Pearson, so I said, what about PayPal? PayPal got brought up. And so no, when I got ripped off from PayPal. Yeah. You got ripped off from PayPal? Yeah, I delivered my computer, and then they reversed the charges. Yeah, didn't they pay said, Carl. You didn't oh, pay Carl. Oh, 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 that, that one. <laughs> Yeah, and people... They reversed the charges? Well, they... Yeah. They, they said the money's in the account. The guy took the computer. And, and then they, Alan was what they call up a couple hours later and said, oh, by the way... The money's not in the account. And, yeah, sorry. I said, well, where's my computer? They and said, I emailed sorry, the guy. Charlie. The guy disappeared. He looked like he stole someone else's PayPal account and then turned himself in and reversed the charges and got the computer. But what's so funny is that this time of instant communication, why can't you know, an account instantly be debited. It should have been. That's what I thought. And then instantly credited. It's Bruce's. I thought Bruce, that's, that's what I assumed. As soon as the money's in the account, it's yours. I know. That's why I wanted... I said, Bruce, get the money out of the account before I give. And Bruce said, it's okay. The money's in the account. Oh, get the money out of the account. Right. I wanted the check. Before you, before you send the computer, you, you, you get but the cash. Then again, of course, I could. the other side is true. You can get the cash and not send the product. That's the other side. Oh, that's true. So I guess and then you get a bad rating on eBay. Right. Yeah, but well, so it's a good what? thing we aren't driving, I mean, riding our bikes. Well, it well look this, like is, this is why I wanted to do uh, bit by bit. Why? I wanted to do bit by bit because it's a small family-run business and it's not like PayPal. You're only dealing with family dysfunction as opposed to My family's corporate not dysfunctional. And no? NSA and all no, that. No, it's perfectly normal. Perfectly normal? Perfectly normal. I, I, I think I want to talk to your brother about this because sure. I wouldn't say that he would think you were perfectly normal. Well, not me, but the rest of the family. <laughs> anyway, the point is, is a lot of my bad press is that bit by bit is supposed to be some... Um, Where did they get that? It's not a 501c3. It's just, it's just It's not bizarre. a 501c3. It's a business. Yeah. No one says it's it like was. a bank, and you know. Not just like a bank. I got like everything You had else to out secure there. it. You had to, you had to buy a certificate to secure it, and the first certificate was fifty dollars. So I thought, let's just do it for all of bit by bit. And then, you know, maybe Do they want to use all it. Bit by bit. Set up an account to where you can press your credit card, and then it will go in. So I didn't have it specifically from oh, Concordia because I think it would still have to go through his. Oh well, that's his the problem. Stuff. You, your false advertising. You're saying it's a nonprofit, <laughs> and then you're sending it through a profit. That's, well, it's, that's not that. No, he still if she has sent to it go. Through, if she th sent it through pa PayPal, it would still be a. Yeah. You could set up uh, your own merchant account, Paula. No, no but I know, but, but I just she, thought for fifty bucks, maybe he can use it. You know, at the same time. You know, but I mean, even if even if I had it for Concordia. It. It, it would still go through him, no, you should and I still, it it's yourself. still not going to go wired. They're not, it doesn't get wired right into your account. See, that's go right point. across if you want. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to go over it like Central Park. So. Okay, well, we should stop by uh, Zachary's place. I was about a little over 25 years ago. I was doing an Army mission with helicopters up northern Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And we had one break down, and that's, I'm a helicopter mechanic. I'm a medicine man, but I'm a helicopter mechanic. And um, so what happened was I found some beautiful stone on the ground. So I figured I'd mine it, all right, for jewelry. It took me several years. It's on private property. It took me several years to find it and get it and mine it out. So I started making jewelry. figured it was a great thing. It was turquoise, malachite, crystal coal, and silver. I thought, well, this is great. Uh, sell some jewelry, make some money. Boy, the little that I know all the plans he had for me. So I, people started wearing his jewelry, and they started getting better with all kinds of things, mostly pain, some tumors. And at first I thought it was all in their heads, you know. I used to think, uh, you know, they're just thinking they're getting better, right? Well, then I got too many of them. I mean, a whole mess of people saying they're getting better, loads of them. So then I had to find out what was going on. So what I did is I took the stone to the laboratories. And I had them break it down into elements. And so what I did is I took each element. And I, I looked on the medical history of it. Tried to find out everything about it. Then I found I had thorium in it. It's very little, but it's radioactive. So then I took it to uh, Rocky Mountain Arsenal. That's up. <laughs>